Michael Mattioli put Joel Acevedo in a chokehold after a party at the officer's house. This happened during the stay at home order back in April. Mattioli, the lawyers and everyone else in the courtroom you see here wore face masks during one of the first in person court hearings to be held. Acevedo's sister asked a judge to increase Mattioli's bail. His actions were reckless and we feel that he is a danger to society. He murdered my brother. He is still employed, getting paid, and this is unfair, and our family is asking that his bond amount to be increased. The judge kept the bail at $50,000 that Mattioli has already paid. Mattioli is currently suspended from MPD. The Acevedo family now has the same civil rights attorney representing George Floyd's family. WISN 12 News' Hillary Mintz is live at the courthouse tonight where a rally was held to support the Acevedo family. Right, and Toya civil rights attorney Ben Crump stood side by side right on these courthouse steps behind me with the Acevedo family. He told the crowd of supporters out here that Joel Acevedo's life matters and that they won't stop until all evidence is made public. Brothers and sisters, we are here today is because Joel life matters. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump in Milwaukee leading the chance at a rally for the family of Joel Acevedo. Crump represents George Floyd's family and hopes to bring the same national attention to the chokehold death case of Acevedo. This was an unnecessary, unjustifiable, and senseless killing of Joel Acevedo, who should be here today. Crump joined the family in the courtroom for Officer Michael Mattioli's first court appearance, charged with reckless homicide. Prosecutors say Mattioli, off duty at the time, had friends over to his home in April. A fight broke out, and Mattioli put Acevedo in a chokehold while he called for help. Michael, what happened at your house the day Acevedo died? Michael, what do you have to say about these charges? Mattioli's attorney claims he did not act criminally. It is disgusting to me to sit in this courtroom. To look at a man that held my son for 10 minutes and took his life. Release the video. The family has seen the body camera footage and heard the 911 call. They don't want to release the 911 because it is evidence of truth. He's still choking him. And when the police asked him if he breathed, he says, I don't know. This is a police officer who's supposed to be a first responder, supposed to preserve life to be trained to de-escalate, but he has him choked face down on the ground and he's not moving. Hillary joining us once again. Now, the, Hillary, the family is also demanding Mattioli be fired. They are, Toya, and currently Mattioli is suspended with pay. That decision of his, the status of employment is up to the Fire and Police Commission. They have not made a decision yet. We called, we emailed the executive director today, and we have not heard back.